Okay, hello everyone. Um, this is Melissa, your math teacher, and I wanted to go through the factoring flow diagram that um, I handed out at the orientation. Uh, it's, it was the green sheet, and for those of you that didn't show up, this is basically a copy of it. Um, you can take notes on this and write it down. I just want to go through this with you and then do a few examples as well um, to get you started on some factoring. Um, okay, so your factoring flow diagram, you always start with um, the question, is there a greatest common factor? So GCF right there stands for greatest common factor. And if there is, um, then you're going to go over and the first thing you're going to do, first thing you always do when you're factoring, is you want to factor out the greatest common factor. Okay, so if there is one, you pull that over, factor that out, and then notice that there's an arrow right here that's taking you back into asking how many terms are there. So whether there's a greatest common factor or not, either way you're going to go down and the next question you're going to ask yourself is how many terms are there. Okay. So um, once you ask yourself that question, remember terms are separated by plus and minus signs with no products going on between them. Um, so if we go down and, and we answer the question um, how many terms are there if there's four terms? If the answer is yes, then we're going to factor by a process called grouping. And I'll do an example for that of you. Okay. Um, if there's not four terms, you keep going down your list and you ask yourself the question, are there three terms? If there are three terms, then you're going to factor by one of these methods, either trial and error or the AC method. Now there's two different, these are two different methods and it doesn't matter to me which one you use, but you do just need to pick one and learn one. Um, and then if it's not three terms, then you go down and you ask yourself, are there two terms? If there's two terms, then you're going to, you're going to be using a factoring formula. Okay. Um, these formulas are a squared, this first one here is a squared minus b squared. That's called the difference of squares. So a squared minus b squared factors into a minus b times a plus b. This one's a little bit hard to see, but that's a plus b. Okay. The second formula here, if it's not the difference of squares, if it doesn't fit that form, it could fit the form of a difference of cubes. So that's this one right here. It's maybe a little bit hard for you to see. There we go. <laughs> um, so a cubed minus b cubed, that if it fits that form, it's going to factor into a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. Okay? And if it's not the difference of cubes, it is a possibility that it could be the sum of cubes. That's a cubed plus b cubed equals a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. Okay? All right. Now, um, this factoring flow diagram is for use basically throughout the entire chapter of 5. Um, so this first part here, greatest common factor and factoring by grouping, that these two are in section 5.1. That's where it covers those two. Okay? This trial and error and AC method, that's in sections... <coughs> Excuse me. Um, sneezing on a video. That's entertaining. Okay. Um, trial and error AC method. That's in sections 5, 2, 5, 3, and 5, 4. Okay. Um, and then in your book, these two are in 5, 5, and 5, 6. The difference of squares, I believe, is 5, 5. And the difference of cubes is section 5, 6. Okay. So this sort of encompasses a lot of chapter 5. Um, <coughs> What you want to do is you want to use this to help organize your thinking as you're going through and working these problems. So you always want to start by asking yourself the question, is there a greatest common factor? And then you go on from there. Depending on how many terms is going to determine the process that you use in order to factor. Okay. Um, the other sections, five point, section 5.7, is basically a cumulative section of practicing all of the factoring that you learn in the previous sections and then 5.8 and 5.9 are application sections of why do we even factor so we'll we'll take a look at um, some of those later okay so here's your factoring flow diagram please please write it down if you didn't pick it up at the uh, orientation and I want to just do a few problems for you now to to show you this so 
Actually, I think I'll make another video of these problems, so I'll stop this one now.